Fine. Let me now go back to the dashboard. So that uh, now we have discussed mostly about charts and tables. And finally, let's move on to the maps, right? So let us focus about uh, what we see here, which is uh, ART retention 12 months uh, by user and subunit, right? So here uh, from the dashboard itself, we can hover our uh, uh, mouse pointer and see some description about, the, uh, about which uh, district and the, uh, each of the values. But to again, like before, to analyze it further, I can click here to open in maps. All right. So what has actually happened here is now here we are seeing only uh, five classes. So uh, the issue is like at a, uh, I mean just by looking at it, it's quite difficult to uh, categorize the differences across each of the classes. So to do that, what we can do is I can uh, just click on edit, right, and go to the style. Okay, and here it's a uh, chloropleth and predefined one. I will just shift here to automatic color legend and let me increase the number of classes to nine and let me select uh, appropriate visualization maybe like this one and click on update so what has happened is i increase the number of classes so that i can easily see uh, i can easily differentiate uh, the numbers of each of the classes so here the lowest will be red and the highest will be here. And just by looking at this uh, map, I can see this particular uh, district, which is the dog district, uh, which is performing the worst. Okay. Right. And what I can do further is now that I know that dog district is not doing well, I can just click here and click on drill down to the level. So the dog district may be performing worse. It may be due to all facilities, which is all health facilities under that district is performing not so good or maybe just due to one uh, health facility. To, to, so to figure out which one, I will just click on drill down to one level. I do that and here I am seeing that there are five health facilities in the dog districts and I can see like most of them are yellow and green and there is this one facility which is called Dingo Health Center, which is performing burst of 59.4, right? So that way, just by sitting at national level, we can go drilling down all the way down to the facility level and even contact this person in charge of the facility and ask what is going wrong. Okay, right. Here also in the maps, we can download the map. You can just click on download button here and it will ask where should this legend uh, visualization, the legend key should appear. So I can appear it here, or right bottom or left top. So I, I prefer to keep it here and I click on download. When I do that, we'll just open the visualization, right? It's just saved, okay. Right, so I will stop here. Um, it's already 4 p.m. Uh, in India and Sri Lanka. So what I was trying to do in this uh, session uh, by demonstrating uh, all the analytics tools which are available in DHS2 was like, you can, I mean, like rather than looking at each of these analytic tools that we discussed. So for example, we have like what? We have pivot table, visualizer, maps, right? Reports, we have different analytic tools. So usually when we are learning, we learn each tool one by one. But our goal ultimately is, right? Just uh, to repeat the same activity, same exercise, which I did just now. So you should be able, once you complete this academy, right, to go back to your country instance and log in um, at it, ideally from national level or, or else whichever level you have access to and do a desk review, just like what I did, uh, uh, what, what I just did now, right? So you don't have to, you know, like use individually each of these tools, but it's a kind of an integrated approach where you will be trying to make sense of what is reported. And also you can do some collaborative engagement with the end users. So in case if there is something wrong within the DHS2 platform, you can uh, interact with the participants. So to do that, we are doing something called interpretation of data, right? So our final objective is not to get the data, but all, uh, everything we do is, uh, is for data for action. So I think on day nine, on interpretation sessions, we will discuss further on uh, this uh, data, for, data for action framework and how to do the interpretations. But basically you should be now getting an idea how to interpret uh, whatever you are seeing here and engage with the 
other users. So this kind of concludes uh, the, the, the session I'm doing. Are there any questions? I mean, if the questions are about individual analytic tools, I think um, we can discuss it later when we are doing each of these analytic tools um, separately. Right. So, um, yeah, I'm concluding my session now. If there are any questions, you can ask now or in Slack channel. Looks like we don't have any uh, immediate questions. Saurabh, any concluding remarks? Hamor, Hamor, I have one question. Thank you uh, for your uh, presentation. It's very great um, for visual in my opinion. Um, my question is, um, usually we visualize map based on uh, organization structure, right? Uh, can we convert um, to a patient location, example like that, or uh, hotspot location that we capture from the tractor capture or event capture, and then we visualize using mapping tool? Can we still do like this? Uh, right. If I understand your question correctly, you want to know, like, uh, similar to the visualizations we had, if we get patient location from tracker capture and, uh, if, um, like, whatever the individual capture tools we have, whether we can visualize it, we can actually visualize the point locations, the point coordinates a, a, in the map, right? But for that, we are actually using not, uh, I mean, like, so the maps that I showed just now were actually reporting the aggregate data. But uh, if we capture the point locations of uh, uh, the track entity instance, we call it, uh, we should be able to see the, the, the spot map, right? And uh, there are like, I mean, like different ways, even like, for example, in malaria uh, scenario, we can even, um, there are ways to, you know, like build relationship from a focus to case, things like that. But unfortunately in this one, uh, 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 in this particular uh, uh, academic,